Hello everyone, my name is Luis Ventinho. This is my friend and student Duke. Today I would like to demonstrate to you guys one of the most effective way to pass somebody's guard, okay? So let's start guys and close guard. But before that, I would like to show to, to talk about a little bit the history and why guard pass is so important. Okay, so Jiu-Jitsu was created for a street fight, okay? For the weak person be the strong person. So if I'm the weak person and He's the strong and taller person. Let's say he has a six foot seven and a 300 pounds. How can I be strong and, and taller than him during the fight? The easy answer is by passing the legs. Okay, so traditional Jiu Jitsu, you have to pass the leg and never fight against the legs. As soon as I pass this guy, I will eliminate the hips and, and the legs. Okay, it's the strongest part of the human body. As soon as I eliminate that, if he don't know Jiu-Jitsu, it's gonna be much easier. If he knows Jiu-Jitsu, what do you need to do to, to bring the legs again? He needs to take the opposite shoulder off the ground and then bring the legs again. So this is how Jiu-Jitsu works, okay? If you want to save energy and be efficient, you will pass your opponent's legs. From here, make sure the opposite shoulder is flat on the ground. You don't want to be able to bring the legs in again. It's when you can progress your mouth and swim into your opponent. Okay, so let's talk about right now, guys, the guy. How, how can I pass this guy? So first, let's talk about the foot. Some people like to put the toes on the ground, okay? Toes on the ground is not good because I'm already leaning forward. So I want my foot flat. Other thing is going to be my legs. If my knee is facing out, he will, he can use his leg to bring him forward. Bring him forward, please. This one is not good for me. If I'm forward, I cannot op open his leg, okay? If I be able to open his guard, I will need to stay in the same line of my opponent's knee. So, how can I do that without putting the weight on his chest? Because as soon as I put the weight on his chest, okay? It's gonna be much easier for him to cross my arm and then go, go to my back. I need to give the weight on me. So here, I'm going to pinch the hip, keep my knee in the same line of, of my, my, my opponent's shoulder. So right now, I'm not gonna be looking straight to him. I'm going to face him to the same side that I want to control the arm. Try to bring him forward, please. Go use the strength, please. No way he can bring him forward. One trick I use here, guys, like, bring my hip forward, and then my upper body back a little bit. A lot of people ask me, what about if he tries to do the upa sweep? Come please, upa sweep. I just lift my hip, try to go, he cannot go, okay? As soon as he come up, go up, come back. So, make sure you guys close the knee, foot flat right here. One thing that's happened a lot, okay, I'm going to, now look, I'm going to control my, my opponent's collar. So don't let him be, be like crossing my, like moving my arm around. So I control him. If his arm is right here, I never pass my hand off my, my opponent's chest line. If I pass my hand, it's gonna be a good opportunity for him to step on my hip and then create the angle to go to straight down the line. So my hand always below the, my, my opponent's chest line. So right here, try to step on my hip, he cannot step. Okay, come back. Okay, so right here guys, now don't lean forward, control. If his arm is there, I don't go that you got his arm. I start putting pressure here. As soon as he realizes it's like too much pressure and I'm going to open his guard, he's gonna control my sleep to bring back. This is my opportunity to go around and I control his, his sleep on the top of his, uh, of his hand right here. Now look, palm facing up. So the same side that I hold his arm, this is the side that will step my leg. Okay, so here look, I'm going to step one and two. My leg is in the same line of my shoulder. And the free side, I need my knee facing in. Okay, I just demonstrated uh, a technique showing how to sweep if you keep the knee facing out. So now guys, I'm going to use my hand inside his knee and then I push. As soon as I push, I, I will drop off him and look where I hit this, the detail on my knee. I'm going to drop my knee, but look, my hook is under his leg. Control the collar. 
Don't let this friend come in because he, he needs this friend to, to, to bring you back to the guy. Try to move your hip, try to step on the ground. He cannot step on the ground. If my knees like this, he step on the ground, move the hip, create the friend, push, and then release everything. So come back, please. Wait here, control. One, two. Heel out, toes in. Push, drop. Control the collar, okay? Now look, I'm going forward to control his head. Now, for I can't have a good shoulder pressure because I don't have the right angle to put the shoulder press right here because I will be bringing my elbow to me. Now I have the shoulder pressure. If, if I don't close my elbow, I need to go way forward is when I can lose my balance. So bring the elbow in. Now look, you're gonna have a lot of pressure here. So I'm going to drive forward, take the inside leg out, then have a regular side control. But what about if, if he extend the arm right here and don't let me control the head? That's okay, I still hold it here. Make sure guys, your arm is not out, elbow out, close your elbow. Now look, I'm going to swing my hand, and then I cross my hand right here, look, under his body. The reason I need to cross this is because as soon as I take this hook out, he can move the hip. So if I control right here, he can move the hip. Come back, please. Look this, my hand crossed under his body. Move your hip, he cannot move got his knee facing in. Once I control right here, okay, he can move the knee out, okay? Is when he can replace the guy. Come back, please. Make sure his knee the whole time facing in. Look at his face here, look, he feel pain, <laughs> okay? Try to move the hip. No way, drive forward. Now is another thing, guys. If I release this, you go to the head. He can push and then replace the guy. So, as soon as I pass the guard right here, elbow heavy. Make sure you don't give any chance for your opponent to bring you back to close guard, okay? Guys, thank you very much to, to watch my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it, okay, like uh, every detail. And don't forget, guys, subscribe, share with your friends, and Leave a comment, please. Let me know what you think about the technique. All right? Thank you. Peace.